आकाशवाणी प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम वी सी प्रमोद द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेन्द्र मोदी टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ओवर सेवेंटी थाउजेंड अपॉइंटमेंट लेटर्स टू न्यूली इंडक्टेड रिक्रूट टूडे ट्वेंटी टू बॉडीज रिट्रीट फ्रॉम लैंडस्लाइड साइट इन रायगढ़ महाराष्ट्र एनडीआरएफ टू रेज्यूम रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन टूडे डेली पुलिस प्रोहिबिट्स फ्लाइंग ऑफ सब कन्वेंशनल एरियल प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक पैराग्लाइडर्स एंड अनमैंड एरियल व्हीकल्स फ्रॉम टूडे टिल दिक्सटींथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट इन व्यू ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेशन मेड डिपार्टमेंट वॉर्न्स ऑफ हैवी रेन्स ओवर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लद्दाख पंजाब एंड नॉर्थ हरियाणा टूडे इन क्रिकेट विराट कोहली इक्वल सर डॉन ब्राडमन रिकॉर्ड ऑफ मोस्ट टेस्ट सेंचुरीज आफ्टर स्मैशिंग हिज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ टन इन सेकेंड टेस्ट अगेंस्ट वेस्ट इंडीज इन ट्रिनेडाट Prime Minister Narendra Modi will distribute over 70,000 appointment letters to newly inducted recruits through video conferencing today. The Rozgar Mela will be held at 44 locations across the country. The recruitments are taking place across central government departments as well as state governments and union territories supporting this initiative. More from our correspondent. The new recruits selected from across the country will be joining the government in various ministries and departments. This include departments of revenue, financial services, post, school education, ministries of defense, health and public sector undertakings among others. The Rozgar Mela is a step towards fulfillment of the commitment of the Prime Minister to accord highest priority to employment generation. The Mela is expected to act as a catalyst in further employment generation and provide meaningful opportunities opportunities to the youth for their empowerment and participation in national development the newly inducted appointees are also getting an opportunity to train themselves through karma yogi prarambh where more than 580 e learning courses are available unpermished akashwani news delhi in maharashtra the death toll from a landslide in irshalwadi village of raigad district rose to 22 yesterday The National Disaster Response Force (NDRF) suspended rescue operations yesterday evening due to inclement weather conditions. We spoke to DG NDRF Atur Karwal on the rescue operation. रायगढ़ जिले में जो एक मड स्लाइड में एक गांव के पंद्रह से बीस घर दब गए हैं उसमें एनडीआरएफ की टोटल चार टीमें वहां तैनात हैं जो काम कर रही हैं और हमारे जो कमांडिंग ऑफिसर हैं उस बटालियन के वो भी वहां खुद मौजूद हैं इसमें कुल बाईस शव बरामद हुए हैं वहां वर्किंग कंडीशन मुश्किल है क्योंकि पंद्रह से पच्चीस फुट की कीचड़ की परत है जिसके नीचे घर दबे हुए हैं और ये जगह रोड से कोई तीन किलोमीटर ऊपर है कच्चे रास्ते से तो हमारी मशीनरी हम वहां नहीं ले जा पा रहे और बारिश लगातार चालू है और दूसरी दिक्कत है कि अभी और मड स्लाइड होने की पॉसिबिलिटी है और ऊपर एक बड़ा फोर्ट भी है जिसकी भी फाउंडेशन थोड़ी बारिश के कारण कम हो गई हैं तो इन स्थितियों में एनडीआरएफ वहां काम कर रही है हमें आशा है कि हम और लोगों को भी इसमें से निकाल पाएंगे और किसी को जीवित भी ढूंढ पाएंगे Speaking the assembly yesterday Maharashtra chief minister Eknath Shinde said extreme rains gusty winds and the difficult terrain slow down rescue operations he informed that a base camp has been set up to provide necessary medical aid container arrangements are also being made to accommodate the displaced families he further informed that the government has decided to shift citizens from landslide prone areas to safer and permanent res- resettlements The chief minister announced that the city and industrial development corporation has been assigned the job of constructing permanent homes for all the 48 affected families of Irshalwadi. Ahead of the Independence Day celebrations, Delhi police has prohibited flying of sub-conventional aerial platforms like paragliders, paramotors, hang gliders, unmanned aerial vehicles and micro light aircraft from today. The order issued by the Delhi Police Commissioner will remain effective till the 16th of August. The decision to prohibit such aerial platforms was taken to thwart criminal anti-social elements or terrorists inimical to India from posing a threat to the safety of the general public, dignitaries and vital installations by using them. In Uttar Pradesh, a mega plantation drive will start today with the target of planting 35 crore saplings. Today 30 crore saplings will be planted. Another part of the drive will be on the Independence Day when 5 crore saplings will be planted by the 15th of August. More from our correspondent. 
द थीम ऑफ दिस ईयर प्लांटेशन ड्राइव इज पेड़ लगाओ पेड़ बचाओ विच मीन्स नॉट ओनली प्लांट द सैपलिंग बट ऑल्सो सेव देम थ्रू आउट द ईयर चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदित्यनाथ विल प्लांट द सैपलिंग्स इन विदुर कुटी आश्रम इन बिजनौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन फोर नून एंड शुक्रताल एरिया इन मुजफ्फरनगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट दिस आफ्टरनून गवर्नर आनंदी बेन पटेल विल बी इन मथुरा फॉर दिस ड्राइव एंड अदर मिनिस्टर्स विल टेक पार्ट इन दिस मेगा प्लांटेशन ड्राइव एट डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्टेट हैज डिवाइडेड दिस ईयर प्लांटेशन ड्राइव इन टू टू पार्ट बिगनिंग टूडे वेन अ टोटल ऑफ थर्टी करोड़ सैपलिंग्स विल बी प्लांटेड अनदर फाइव करोड़ सैपलिंग्स विल बी प्लांटेड ऑन ऑगस्ट फिफ्टीन सुशील चंद्र तिवारी आकाशवाणी न्यूज लखनऊ जल शक्ति मिनिस्टर गजेंद्र सिंह शेखावत है सेड दैट मोर देन ट्वेल्व करोड़ सिक्सटी लैक टैप कनेक्शन हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू रूरल हाउस होल्ड एंड द जल जीवन मिशन इनोग्रेटिंग अ टू डे नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन रूरल वॉश पार्टनर्स फोरम इन न्यू डेली एस्टे डे मिस्टर शेखावत सेड द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन सेवल स्टेप्स टू इम्प्रूव द लाइव ऑफ सिटीजन्स द जल जीवन मिशन वॉज अनाउंस बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेन्द्र मोदी इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विद द एम टू प्रोवाइड अ श्योर टैप वॉटर सप्लाई to every rural home by 2024 the center has informed the bombay high court that it will not notify the fact check unit fcu till the 4th of september during a hearing yesterday solicitor general tushar mehta requested the court to adjourn the matter till the 31st of august as he will be occupied with the hearing pertaining to the pleas challenging the constitutional validity of changes made to article 370 The court agreed to Mr Mehta's request and posted it to be heard next on August 31st and September 1st. A division bench of Justices Gautam S Patel and Neela K Gokhale has been hearing petitions by stand-up comedian Kunal Kamra, Editors Guild of India, news broadcasters and Digital Association and Association of Indian Magazines challenging the recent amendments in IT rules. As per the rules, content marked by the FCU as fake or misleading will have to be taken down immediately this is akashwani giving you the news for quick news updates round the clock follow us on twitter at aia news alerts the indian med department imd has predicted that extremely heavy rainfall activity is likely to continue over konkan madhya maharashtra and gujarat during the next two days It also forecasts subdued rainfall over northeast and remaining parts of East India likely to continue during the next 4 to 5 days. The weather office forecast heavy rainfall over Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Muzaffarabad, Punjab and North Haryana for today. Heavy rainfall is also likely over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, East Rajasthan, Kerala, Karnataka, coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana during the next 4 days. The Jammu Srinagar National Highway has been closed for vehicular traffic today due to incessant rain since last night that triggered landslide in Ramban sector. The Mughal Road an alternate link between Jammu Division and Kashmir Valley is also closed for vehicular traffic due to a massive landslide at Ratta Chamb area. Traffic authorities have advised commuters not to travel on the two highways till restoration work is completed. In the meantime in Ladakh torrential rain triggered a flash flood in Leh town last night both civil authorities and defense personnel have started clearance of mudslide chief executive council of Leh Tashi Gyal Sang will visit the affected areas today to review the damages caused by the flash flood in Telangana heavy to very heavy rains affected normal life in several parts of the state during the last 24 hours particularly in the northern districts The swollen river Godavari is in spate near Badrachalam. The Met Office forecast heavy to very heavy rains for the next 48 hours at isolated places in Komaram Bheem, Asifabad, Mancherial, Nirmal and Nizamabad districts of the state. The state government declared a holiday for the second consecutive day today for offices and educational institutions in GHMC and in rain affected districts. Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao has directed to keep the administration in all the districts on high alert to take necessary steps to minimize loss to properties and save the lives of people. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation DGCA has conditionally accepted the flight resumption plan submitted by Go First. It approved the airline's plan to restart operations of 114 daily flights with 15 aircrafts. 
the aviation regulator said go first will be required to comply with all applicable regulatory requirements for holding an air operator certificate at all times it must ensure continuation of the airworthiness or fitness of all its aircrafts the dgta stated that none of the go first aircraft will be deployed for operations without undertaking a satisfactory handling flight India's coal sector has recorded the highest ever production of over 223 million tons in the April June quarter of 2023-24. Ministry of Coal said the Coal India Limited has marked a commendable growth rate of more than 9% during April to June quarter of 2023. The ministry added that there is a substantial growth of more than 8% in the production which highlights India's commitment to meet its energy demands and drive sustainable economic growth. Russian President Vladimir Putin has issued a stern warning to Poland saying that it would treat any aggression against its ally Belarus as an attack on its own country. Putin's remark yesterday came after Poland's move to enhance security on its own border in response to Wagner mercenary forces presence in Belarus. The Russian president stated that aggression against Belarus will mean aggression against the Russian Federation. Putin in a televised comment during a Security Council meeting said Russia will respond to the aggression with all the means at its disposal. In cricket, West Indies were 86 for one at stumps on the second day in reply to India's first innings of 4.38 in the second test at Port of Spain in Trinidad. West Indies will still trail India by 3.52 runs at the end of the second day. Openers Craig Braithwaite and Tagenerin Chandrapol stitched a solid opening stand of 71 runs before Ravindra Jadeja picked up the wicket of Chandrapol. Earlier, Indian star batsman Virat Kohli smashed a magnificent 121 runs. With the stun Virat Kohli has reached a milestone of 29 test centuries in his highly anticipated 500th international game. He equaled legendary Sir John Don Bradman in the list of most test centuries. Bradman had scored 29 centuries in 52 tests while Kohli achieved this feat in his 111th test match. It was Virat's 76th international turn including 46 centuries in ODI and one in T20 format. Skipper Rohit Sharma's 80 runs, Ravindra Jadeja's 61, and Ravi Chandran Ashwin's 56 helped India to post a massive total in their first innings. West Indian bowlers Kemar Roach and Shannon Gabriel picked up three wickets each. In Korea Open badminton, Indian men's doubles pair of Satvik Sai Raj Ranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty will face second seed Chinese duo Wei Qing Liang and Chang Wang in the first semi-final in Yeso today. And now for a look at today's newspapers it's over to Anita Anand. Thank you Pramod. Modi Ranil agree on vision to boost ties. Four packs inks is the headline in the Asian age. Modi Ranil boost ties unveil a new economic partnership is the headline in the Hindustan Times. Modi raises aspirations of Tamil with Ranil as the lead in the Hindu. The Times of India on its front page has the headline Forex Reserves Cross $600 Billion on 15-month high, writing for the third consecutive week on the back of strong dollar inflows from foreign institutional investors. Mostly all papers carry the story of the Raigad landslide toll raising to 22 with 109 people still missing with inclement weather and narrow route slowing down rescue work. Mostly all papers have carried on their front page front page the story of Rajasthan chief minister sacking minister of state Rajendra Gouda on throwing parallels between the violence in Manipur and alleged atrocities against women in Rajasthan and with that it's back to you Pramod thank you anita and now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again prime minister narendra modi to distribute over 70000 appointment letters to newly inducted recruits today 22 bodies retrieved from landslide site in raigad maharashtra NDRF to resume rescue operation today. Delhi police prohibits flying of subconventional aerial platforms like paragliders and unmanned aerial vehicles from today till the 16th of August in view of Independence Day celebrations. Med department warns of heavy rains over Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Punjab and North Haryana today. In cricket, Virat Kohli equals Sir Don Bradman's record of most test centuries after smashing his 29th run in the second test against West Indies in Trinidad. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.